So by now, a lot of y'all should know who my four older brothers are. Now me, I'm the baby of the bunch. Now even though they might not say it or admit it on camera, but they know, they all know, I'm the best of the bunch. See, I really didn't start playing football until my senior season. Basketball was my first love. Now, of course, like I mentioned, I started playing high school football late my senior season. So college scouts, they had very little tape to go on. So I knew in order for me to earn any kind of Division One college offer, I had to showcase what I can do. And I damn sure did that. People called me a versatility, a Swiss Army knife. I could play corner, safety, linebacker, hell, you name it, I'm willing to do it. Now, after a few games of us being undefeated, a couple schools start calling. Coaches start showing up to my games. It definitely was a great feeling. But even though I had a couple offers on the table, my grind and my hustle did not stop and it wouldn't stop. As I continued to display what I could do on that field and our team running through these teams, being us being undefeated, it was only a matter of time before the Alabamas and the Georgias came calling. So I just automatically knew. I just had to keep playing and keep showcasing what I can do. Now, it's a very rare thing to see a 17 year old kid standing 6'4, 232 pounds, moving like a cornerback, hitting like a linebacker. Let's just say I was a real breed. And we continued to run through these teams. Now, as this team kept winning, as I kept displaying what I can do, the offers just kept coming. They just kept rolling in. Now, you had Utah, Oklahoma, Texas AM. When I see the offers kept rolling in, they kept rolling in. And here we are in the state championship game. I knew if I came into this game playing lights out, I knew I would earn that power five offer. I just knew I would. Now coming into this game, I was one of the best safeties in this state. So I knew a lot of schools were having their eyes on me in this game. So coming into this game, like I say, I had to continue to play lights out. And that's damn sure what I did. Now, nobody gave us a chance against this team. This, key, this team was number one in the state of Georgia, and we was winning 14 to nothing. We was not going to let up. I was letting the boom left and right. And because I was a leader of this team, I brought that fire, that passion, that determination. That rolled off all my teammates. And I acted like I see. We did not let up. And we walked out of here state champs. And for me, I had a tough decision to make. What school would I attend? Now, of course, you had the big schools, Ohio State, Notre Dame, Miami, Georgia. Everybody came calling, but at this point, I already had my mind made up. North Texas was a school. We coming in ranked 88th out of, in the country. A two-star program. They haven't won a conference championship since 2004. Bowl record, 2-10. And you probably think to yourself, why in the hell a good old player like me would come to a school like this? Let's just say they offered me the job, a starter. The other schools wanted me to play a linebacker and sit and wait behind other players. And I was damn sure wasn't going to do that. So here we are in my first game against Appalachian State. Do I got the jitters? Of course I do. But once I make that first tackle... It was all out the window. As the receiver catches the pass, and that's good for eight, third, and ten. As I said, I got the jitters. But once I make a couple plays, make a couple tackles, it just felt natural being out there on that field. And that's one key thing that I chose this school. The defensive coordinator, the secondary coach, he offered me freedom. Not just to be a safety, no box safety a linebacker, blitzing off the edge. And I love that versatility. The other schools, like I see, they wanted me to play linebacker. And I damn sure wasn't going to play that. But as we get beat right there, we fell for the play action. That tight end picks up 17 on the play. Now, second and 15. Hopefully y'all enjoying this story, man. This is kind of, you know, if you already know, I released the first video instead of this series I, I did on revamp now i will switch it to madden 24. this is just an explanation now when madden 24 came out you will know how he got drafted so high you will know his story and this is 
the story leading up to how he got drafted. So you know what I mean? So this is the purpose of this series. And right here, they are cooking. Robinson picks up 25. As you can see, we up 17 to nothing. We holding these boys under 100 yards right here. We just continue to make plays. Nate Noel, meet that boy Cam. That boy Cam. As of right now, the comparison is to Cam Chancellor. You feel me? But a little bit faster. You know what I mean? He's, he's going to continue to grow if he, you know, I would say if he chooses to, he will continue to grow. But I mean, will he play, you know, linebacker at the next level? And right here, the defense is playing lights out. That's what you love to see. And hopefully we can, you know, do a little couple of punt returns, man. We're going to take over, see if we can take over a couple of punt returns right here, man. This kid got this versatility, man. Even though I didn't show the highlights, he played receiver in high school. So he know what to do with the rock, bro. He know what to do with the rock. Let's go. That boy Cam, either Cam, Camario, Crawford, whatever you want to, you know, call it. You know what I mean? Right here, continue to lay in the boom. And when you play like that and your teammates see that, bro, they just get hyped up and they feed off that. You know what I mean? So why not have a teammate like that? Right here, we just helping our teammate, man. There's nowhere to run, nowhere to hide. We up 31 to nothing on App State. And right here. That front four, that front seven is, is definitely feeding, you know, off the crowd, man, off each other right here. And they try to screen pass and the quarterbacks get sacked. We up 45 to nothing. What a way to be introduced to college football and the quarterback gets sacked yet again. Second and 16. Now, I probably will. I don't know if you know, I will make a great open field tackle now. When I get, as you can see, six tackles, two tackles for loss in our second game against Ohio Bobcats. Now, when I get to 10K subscribers, 10K, you know what I mean? I'm debating if I should do a free PC giveaway or a $1,000 giveaway. Y'all let me know in the comment section, bro. So, when I, once I reach 10K subscribers, that definitely will happen. A $1,000 giveaway to lucky winner. Or a PC, you feel me? Right here, this quarterback is cooking our secondary, man. They're cooking our secondary, but we got him in a third and 11 situation. And right here, he just got the jitters, man. Good coverage down the field for the defensive line to get a sack right there. Second and six, and the quarterback decided to take off and he gets sacked. This is going to bring up a third and seven. Let's hold these boys to three. Hopefully, nothing. That's what you want down here in the goal line. Right here, pass to the tight end. Who else makes the tackle? Cam makes the tackle. They actually missed. No, they actually didn't miss the field goal. <laughs> but first and 10, and right here, we just continue to make plays, man. That's what you love to see. And right here, bro, just sit down somewhere. Just have a fucking seat somewhere. Like, for real. Third and 14, and the quarterback gets sacked again. We up 14 to 3. Hopefully, we can hold this lead. Third and four, a screen pass in. That is a pick six. Take that thing to the pot, miss, man. That is a touchdown, man. You love to see it. We up 24 to three. Quarterback decided to take off again, and he, bro, he keep taking them licks, man. Here y'all, man, 50 seconds left. I don't know why coach still got them in the game. Third and inches. This is the play that got this kid out for a week. Hopefully he'll be back in time when they face Georgia, man. The ugly scene right here. He landed on his ankle. Look at that. Damn. But it's your boy CRE logging out to the next video, man. Love y'all to life. Like, comment, subscribe on the video. And I'm out. The tree. I wanna salute every nigga who run with me. And it's a secret everything that you done with me. Cause it's a couple niggas that practice loyalty. Family.